this Ase short demo, I'll show you how you can create or test an entire new branding design without another CBS license. Let's say you only have one CBS server and are licensed only for one CBS. You had already purchased the branding option module, license that grants you access to build your branded products. Let's say your scenario is that you are either want to A, your organization is rebranding itself and you need to update the branding for CBS, ACB, OBM software and you want to prepare for the launch. Or B, you are not yet branded and you want to test some branding changes but do not want to impact production. This demo will be good for you. Keep watching. Here's how you can set up an entire new branding all from the same licensed CVS server that is running in production. Logging into my super admin system account to my CVS web console demo.ase.com, I can create a sub admin account and upload my branding changes through this sub admin account. And once done, I can build the client or CVS installer for further testing. When you first set up your CBS server, make sure the host name is correct to your primary FQDN for the production site. When you create a sub-admin account, you need to specify a FQDN, fully qualified domain name. To avoid conflict with production, you should set up an entire new DNS entry. In other words, another DNS alias of your CBS server but with the newly created sub-admins FQDN. For example, your production backup site is using FQDN of demo.ase.com. So to avoid conflict with the primary main site, for this I will set up staging.ase.com. Just to recap, creating a sub-admin account, you need to add a new system user. You need to specify the username, the password, the host name, in other words, FQDN. Select the type of sub-admin and select a user home. It can be one of your used in production or a separate user home that you just created for testing purposes. After you created the sub-admin account, return back to it to start your customization. To do all the branding changes for a sub-admin, you can do it through the same admin type account that I'm logged in with, the system account. No need to re-log in under the sub-admin. You can, but it is not necessary to, to work on the new branding. For demonstration purposes, I'll be making only a few changes to both the text properties and some graphics. And then I'll speed through this section of the demo. Whether you're new to branding or if you're a seasoned veteran with the branding process, remember that after you make your branding customization, you need to save the properties all the way through to the main menu and then return back here to rebuild the client or the CVS installer. 
Once you've made your branding updates and saved those changes, you can return back here to do the build. In my demo, I'm just going to rebuild the clients. If you're needing to test your CBS installer, you would go to build your CBS installers instead. And then you can use that build to do a new CBS installation in your lab environment. Building clients can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to fast forward here. Now, if you want to test the client build you just made, you need to open the browser to the sub admins FQDN. In my example, staging.ase.com to download the client installers. However, if you're testing a branded CBS installer, you'll need to set up an entire new host to test it. You should not reinstall it onto your production CBS if you are not yet committed to the new CBS branding. Just showing you that on staging.ase.com, my CBS logo is different than my demo.ase.com where it still has the default ASE CBS logo in the upper left corner. Switching back to staging.ase.com where I've done my new branding design, I now see that my OBM and ACB is now AAA WW for OBM and AAA WW for ACB for my demo CBS AAA worldwide design. I'm just going to download the AAA WW OBM installer, download the installer, run the in installer so I can test, test out my OBM branding. Running through the OBM installation, I can see that the graphic on the left is the lime green color, which is the one that I uploaded when I was doing my customization. I'll just speed through the installation process. After the OBM has installed, I'm going to open up the OBM client and check that the rest of the branding has been correctly done. Once you've finalized the branding, and if you are replacing the current CBS branding with the new design, you can simply export the sub-admins branding JSON as a file to re-import it under your system super admin account, save it, and then rebuild that client to go live. So that's it. If you have any further questions, you can open an ASE support ticket. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos on ASE's partner portal and on ASE's YouTube channel.